Hey, this is Susan Velez from SusanVelez.com and welcome to my YouTube channel where I make the techie side of blogging easy. Now, if you haven't subscribed to this YouTube channel, I highly recommend that you do because what I like to do is every Wednesday I create some type of tutorial, some type of advice or blogging tip that's going to help you start, grow, and monetize your WordPress blog. So in today's tutorial, what I wanted to do was I wanted to take you through a run through and just a quick, quick overview of the free social sharing WordPress plugin. Now, if you don't know what that is, it's actually the same social sharing plugin that I use on my live site. You can see these are the social sharing buttons that I have on my, on my site. And this is the, I am actually using the social warfare plugin. Now I'll have links to the descriptions in the, in the uh, description below, or the, I'll have links to the uh, products that I'm using in the links below. Now, if you do decide to pick them up, I would greatly appreciate it if you pick it up through my affiliate links because they will help support my YouTube channel and continue to, so that I can continue putting out these types of tutorials. So there are two versions of the Social Warfare plugin. Now, let me log into my account and you'll see I'm inside of my account and you'll notice that there are these are the available downloads. You'll have the free core version, which is the one that you have to use if you're Anytime you're using the social warfare plugin, even if you have the premium version, then you're going to still need this free core um, installed on your WordPress site. Now, what is the difference between the free version and the pro version? Um, there are actually quite a few differences, but this tutorial is, this video is actually not going to cover the differences. What I wanna do on this tutorial is I want to just show you how you install it and then we're going to run through some of the basic setups, um, how you would go ahead and set up the, the social warfare plugin. Now, everybody's blog is different. So some of the settings that I use may be totally different than what you're using, but it's not a big deal. You can kind of play around with the different settings and then set it up to your liking. So um, what does the premium version cost? You might be wondering. The premium version is $29 per year. And I know you're probably thinking, well, there's a ton of social sharing plugins out there that are available for free. Why would you pay for a, a plugin that you can get for free? Well, I'm a huge supporter in supporting the developers who create plugins that I love to use. If I don't like the plugin, I'm not going to pay for it. Plus, whenever I need any type of support, I don't have to worry about trying to spend hours online trying to get something fixed for free. All I have to do is shoot them over an email. They're very quick on responding to any type of uh, requests that I've put in, and they've helped me fix the plugin on a couple of different issues that I've had. So that's why I choose to pay for the uh, support. Now, you do not have to pay for it. You can continue to use the free version, but just be aware that you're not going to get as many options as somebody who is paying for the premium version. So anyway, let's get started. So what you'd want to do first is you'd want to log into the social warfare account, or you could probably find it on the actual um, plugin repository. So let me go ahead and log into, I'm on my development site right here. This is the site that I like to play with on YouTube because it allows me to create tutorials for you without having to worry about messing up my live site. So first thing we want to do is come over here to plugins and we're going to add a new and we're going to see if it's inside of the repository. That way we don't have to worry about creating a, an account with uh, social warfare. So we're going to come over here and we're going to go to social warfare and let's see if it is available in the repository. Okay. It does have a, uh, the free version. So what we want to do is you can either log into your account and download it right here or you could just come over here and type in social warfare and then it's going to activate it. So we're gonna go ahead and click install and then it's gonna say activate. So we're gonna go ahead and activate it. So the next thing we want to do is we're going to come over here down to our plugins. You'll see that it says plugin is activated. So we're gonna come down here and we're gonna to go to the social warfare right here. So now what we wanna do is we wanna come over here to the settings and then you're going to notice um, I've got this blog post pulled up, which is on my development site. And right now it doesn't have any type of social icons, but now it does. Now the reason, let me, let me explain something because right out of the gate, your social icons are going to look just like this. However, I've actually went into my style sheet and I've created 
my social icons. I've made them look the same to match the rest of my site. And I've actually got a tutorial right here that's going to explain how I did that. So if your social icons look like this when you first activate the plugin, that's normal. Um, this is just a little bit of customization that I did on my site. And this development site is just pretty much a clone of my live site. So it is still using the style sheet that I am using for my live site. And like I said, the plugin or on my live site, you can come over here to this, uh, to this post and it will show you how I changed the color of my, my buttons to match the rest of my site. So enough of that. Let's go ahead and come over here to the available options and we're going to play around with this. Now it's been a little bit of time. It, I've actually been using the plugin for about five, five or six months. So all this is still really new to me. And like I said, I've never really just used the free version. I started off with the paid option. So um, this is all new to me. So let's get started. So first thing first, uh, right here in the, the setup, you're going to see that it's got a display option. And right here, these are the social networks that you have available. Now you could kind of move these around. Um, you could take away one, like let's say you don't want to stumble upon up there. You just want to use uh, Twitter, Pinterest, and Facebook. And then you could rearrange these to show up in a different order. So then it would just show these three right here, buttons for people to share your content. And then button counts. Um, let me go ahead and s save this and I'm going to show you what the button counts are. Now, right now it's set to on, and what I mean by that, you're going to notice when I refresh this, there's only going to be three, which is the Pinterest, the Twitter, and the Facebook, and that's because I've set this up to only show three. If you wanted to add the Google+, Plus, we could add that up there, and then we would save the changes, and then come back to this page, refresh, and our Google+, Plus button would show up right here. And then you notice that right here it says button counts on. Um, Basically what this is, you'll notice that it's got 107 social shares from Pinterest. And that's what the button count is right there. It's 107 for Pinterest, 10 for Twitter, and then 2 for Facebook. If we didn't want to show those, we would just click that, hit save, and then come refresh this. And then you would notice that the button uh, counts, the button counts do not show anymore. And then um, right here, total counts, this is that number right here, which is a share total counts. Um, we could either turn that on or off. Right now we've got it set to on. If you wanted to not show it, then you could just set that to off. As far as um, position share buttons, now you'll notice that these post types are a little bit different than what probably show up on yours. That's because of the plugins and stuff that I'm using for my site. So if you don't see all these, not a big deal. What you'll probably have different options, but you could just pay attention to the options that you do have. So right here, these static buttons, you have several different options to display them. You could go above the content, below the content, um, both above and below, and then you could do none manual placement. Um, I usually always keep mine, I believe, above the content. Um, I'm not sure, but you could play around with that and kind of see what you like yours as and then we could see right here it says above the content and then if we wanted to go ahead and do it below the content as well too they could show up down here below but I think I only keep them on my let me go to my live site and we're I believe okay no I've got it on the above uh, below too so and and like I said this is a premium version so what you see um, I, some of the stuff that I do on mine may not be available on the free version and like I said I will walk through a tutorial on the differences between the free version and the premium version in case you ever wondered what the differences are. So you could kind of just run through here and choose how you wanted the options, the static buttons to appear. Once you've done that, then you could come over here to styles and then you'll notice that it says customize how the total share section of your share buttons look. I believe I usually just leave this as default. I don't I don't really do anything different. You could play around with this and kind of see how you want it to look on your website when you do when you do install the plugin. And then right here, floating share buttons, you'll notice that right now it is set on the left side of the page. And what this means is you'll notice when I refresh this, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna scroll down and you're gonna see these social share buttons come out on the left side. Looks pretty cool in my opinion. And um, I don't do that on my live site. Not sure why I don't do that, but if you wanted to do that, you could do that too. And then it would just make it a lot easier for people to share your content. 
All right, so once you get that tab done, then we've come over here to social identity. Next thing you would want to do is type in your Twitter username, your Pinterest username, and then of course your Facebook page URL. And then of course uh, your Facebook app ID. Um, if you don't know how to create a Facebook app ID, then I recommend you just do a quick search on Google. It'll walk you through the process of how to create a Facebook app ID. All right, next we're gonna go to um, advanced and pretty much these advanced um, settings, I pretty much just leave them alone. You could play around with these and kind of see what they do. I'm not really that familiar with them, but that's really what I do. Um, that's basically all the settings that I do. Once you've made all these settings, then we go ahead and hit save. And then what we would do is go ahead and just hit refresh. And then all our settings are saved. We now have some great looking social icons. Like I said, yours may look a little bit different. Yours are probably going to look um, just the typical Pinterest color, Twitter color, Facebook colors. These are different because I have styled them different. But if you wanted to follow along with the styling of your buttons to match your site, then head on over to my uh, blog and I've got a great tutorial you can follow along that will help you do that. But anyway, I just wanted to run you through the options of how you set up the free social sharing um, plugin called the Social Warfare. Once again, the links are in the description below. If you do pick it up, I, highly rec I, I would really appreciate it if you went through my affiliate links, which will help support my YouTube channel as well as my time and effort that I do to create these videos for you. And again, stop by my blog at susanvelez.com. Sign up for my seven free, uh, seven day free WordPress course. And don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel. I'll talk to you later. Have a great one.